Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 13-year-old male who had an injury pitching and they had an abnormal x-ray. The doctor was worried about a physeal injury, and sure enough, this is what they have. And this really stands out in this sequence. This is a T1 coronal sequence, and we can see the humeral physis here. You can see that it's definitely widened, and we can see out here in the lateral margin a little bit of lateral bulging. So definite physeal injury, a Salter Harris type 1 injury. And these are usually in males who pitch between 11 and 16 years old. They have a combination of a widening and edema of the growth plate, and also typically edema in the metaphysis. And luckily with the rest, and they stop pitching for about three months or so, and do physical therapy, and usually they can come right back to pitching, uh, slowly ease into it after that, and they heal spontaneously without the need for surgery. Now on this PD fat set sequence here, we can see that the growth plate is less well defined. The other one you can see very clearly how wide it was, but on this PD fat set sequence, we see some hyperintense signal there, a little bit of subperiosteal edema here, and also some hazy increased marrow signal, a combination of marrow edema and also some red marrow. And on this T2 weighted sequence, it's not fat suppressed. These are not very helpful actually because fat is bright and marrow is bright, and you really can't tell if there's marrow edema because. Uh, the background of fat that's a hyper intense. So this really underestimates itself. I'll put this up here to show you the T2 weighted sequence and then the T1 sequence that really highlights this. So again, this is a Salter Harris type 1 injury of the growth plate. We call this little leaguer's shoulder. And again, it's um, a favorable prognosis because with just rest, the patient can spontaneously heal. And that's it. So thank you very much. Hope you have a great day.